You're listening to the Board Game Snobs podcast. I'm Dan Hughes. A ridiculous podcast with ridiculous hosts that discuss ridiculous things. I'm Dan Hughes. And any mention of board games is purely coincidental. And so, without further ado, and with a heavy dollop of shame and embarrassment on my part, I'm Dan Hughes. There's no one does what board game snobs do better they are almost professional level comedians hello there i live i give you the board game snobs To have a, I get to be able to actually yeah, do you got, something. You got it all. You know that's not what's going to happen. Right? I know. This is Jerry. Rike. Yeah? Say something. Oh, uh, well, you I just did. Yeah, I did say no, something. Said, introduce yourself, you oh, loser. Oh, well, you didn't say that. You just said say Don't something. Don't argue. Introduce. Oh, my name is Enrique. Hello, Enrique. I'm uh, Gabby. Gabby's the host. Host Everybody of the show. Everybody knows that I'm the star. Well, yeah. That's how it works. Co-host, host, star. Right? I'm going to let you do your thing. What are you doing? So, not interrupting you. Oh, so you're just going to sit there and not respond? I can respond. I know you can. I know that. I'll talk to Enrique. Enrique's my man. Oh, no. Yeah. Enrique's this is going to go so, horribly wrong. Enrique, you're a board gamer, right? Yeah, more or less, but let's say well, more. Well, your moniker, and like, people buy shirts with no sleeves. Well, what's wrong? Like, I don't... But yet you're wearing a shirt now that has mild sleeves on it. You yeah, have some mild sleeves. sleeves. I like all of them are in it's the wash. It's 107 degrees out. It's not that bad. It's a hot, it is literally the hottest day of the it's year. It's not today. that bad. It's 107 degrees. Just don't think about it. That does not. That's not how temperature works. Not not unless you don't think about it. Okay, that's. I'm just saying, you guys. Tell that to all the dead people in the desert. Oh, I guess they thought about it too hard. Thought about it too well, hard. You should have just put got, it out of your got, mind. They just got dehydrated. Just mind over matter. They got dehydrated. Well, they, well, they shouldn't have thought about don't it. Don't focus on the thirst. Well, like the body's going to think about it all the time, but you don't have to. Wait, so does the body have its own mind? In a way, yes, so are I you guess. Fil- are you taking the philosophical stance that your body and self are two separate things? If we're talking about the men- the mentality of just saying, oh, hey, I'm hot... Because your body will tell you, hey, it will send signals to your brain saying, hey, we're overheating just a little bit. Can we find a place to just cool down? And your mind, you can have a point of where you can just ignore those messages. And so you can just say no. Yes. So you think. That you're like you can like your body and yourself is not really yourself. You exist outside this body. Like you have a you have a, what that, is consciousness? Yes, is what we're asking, and you need to answer this because if you could answer this clearly, it will literally bring about <laughs> the end of the world. The, the, the because greatest, scientists don't yes, even the, know. Yes, oh, nobody God. understands this. So if you have insight into what is consciousness, what makes you you? I'm going to be super irritated. <laughs> Kind of like how, comes with like it. Isaac Newton, who invented calculus for like ten years and didn't tell nobody, like just stuck it under his bed. It'd be really irritating because this be exactly something Enrique would do: have the understanding of consciousness or a cure for something, and not say anything, and then all of a sudden just casually throw it out there, like the, the greatest yeah, yeah. philosophical yes. breakthrough yeah. of all time, like Descartes. So just go ahead. I prefer to buggy. I was talking about the guy. Descartes, the philosopher. Don't get Descartes before no, the I, horse. No, I'm saying, but you think before I am. That's that's that guy who said oh. that. I know. So, like I was, I was thinking, huh, about this. I always, they're always like, well, if this and this has happened, you wouldn't exist, right? If this, if a butterfly didn't flap its wings over here twenty years ago, your I parents, might not exist. Yeah, your parents wouldn't have compilated. 
You'd know it exists. But why Why couldn't I have, like, my consciousness is me. Uh, I might have been someone else. I mean, I may not be me, but I could have been somebody else. But be the same brain. I don't think that's how that works. I, like, wait, no, that's, that's not how yeah. that works. So, so you think that out of all the, 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 the zygotes, that your consciousness exists. It's just what body you're going to get. So you could have been. I mean, that's uh, who, who, yeah, exactly. Could have been Ronaldo. I could have been Geraldo. Ronaldo. Ronaldo. I'm trying to oh. tune into our more European listeners. Oh, uh, you mean a Messi? Then he's all the rage. I've heard the name. I do not watch football, so I don't know what they. Do. I could have been worth four hundred million dollars instead of negative ten right now. Correct. So that might have been all just because a butterfly flapped his wings in a certain direction, and if somebody had killed that butterfly, <laughs> yeah, I would be Messi instead yeah, of God. Brazilian father is like, oh, we could have had the next great forward, but instead got a truck got driver. Got this guy. <laughs> got this guy. <laughs> no, I mean, it. what makes that? I don't think that's I don't think that's how that works. Hey. But you don't know. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Because I'm, 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 I'm pretty, pretty sure. sure. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm not a hundred percent, but I'm sure. So it's like, is there is are you you because of the physical structure of your brain? Is that what creates consciousness? I, is the consciousness from the brain? I think the consciousness would be just the experiences that you go through life, wouldn't it? And then, but you're self aware. You're self aware. The baby. Therefore, wouldn't it just? Be- oh, he said. Therefore, well, we're getting deep. Henceforth, yeah. Therefore, therefore, wouldn't it just? I wonder if self awareness develops in in different ways. Well, and- I don't have any so self awareness. <laughs> so, so, well, think about so like people that have schizophrenia. Mm-hmm. Like I don't, I don't know much. There's about a person that. That, that they think they're one person, and then whatever happens in that situation that triggers that, they suddenly think they're another completely, totally different person, and to them they are. Hmm. That is weird, wild stuff. I mean, sh- the brain is a fragile, and is it the brain? It's got to be the brain, right? Yeah, it would. It would be the brain because it. It's trying to, I, I guess, identify of who you are, I guess, in a way. So there was a girl, I just saw this on TikTok, of course, where I get all my news. Horrifically, brutally murdered her parents in Colorado like 10 years ago or so. I forget her name. Isabella something. Munez, maybe. I don't know. No, it's Frankie Munez that was in that TV show. Maybe it was a sister. I don't know. Stabs her mom to death brutally, stabs her stepfather to death brutally. Just horrific, horrific. Well, they get her into the interrogation room and she, it, it, okay, I'll admit, I didn't watch the whole thing all the way through, mm-hmm. but what they're supposing was, because she didn't go, she didn't get go to jail. She, she got insanity plea, was in treatment and like, she has a possibility, probably not a very good one, but she says, I'm better now. That wasn't me. Because in the interrogation room, she stuck hard to, I don't know what y'all are talking about. Whoever murdered those people, it wasn't me. And so they were saying she was schizophrenic. That, like, so, so, so it's like that, in her mind, that was not her. Yeah. This other person killed those people, but now I'm getting blamed for it. That took control of my body, basically. So if you don't remember doing something, that's not you. <laughs> well, I mean, because you would not know but anything. But you're talking you about consciousness. Let's remember. So if it was not your consciousness, who's to say? What well, you're? But you're differentiating memory and consciousness, though. No. Well, what, well, I mean, maybe so. But I'm saying, according to her, this other consciousness basically murdered her parents and then zapped back. This other consciousness from her schizophrenia, this other personality, is like, that wasn't me. Well, people can have fugue states in which they act in a certain way and don't remember. I mean, I mean that's entirely impossible. But that doesn't necessarily mean that there's two separate conscience beings. It, it, it's almost diving into the, the theory of um, split personalities. Right. Which, and, and I don't. If I remember correctly, that that was like a way overdiagnosed one of those fads that when it came out in the DSM four that that was like the go to thing. I have multiple personalities, and it's apparently incredibly rare. Like they're not even sure, sure if it's a real thing, almost or it's, like it's, fibromyalgia. It, 
because well, fibromyalgia exists oh. in, in the idea of what it is. Be, because but they split diagnose everybody with it. Well, that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. That's Do, true. And because Just split like split personality doesn't exist, does it? I, at all? Split personality? It may, it may very well. I know the movie Split exists. Because well, isn't that what we're calling schizophrenia? No, schizophrenia no. is two separate things. Yeah, yeah, schizophrenia is delusions, uh, false beliefs, hallucinations, seeing or hearing things that don't exist. Usually, physical yeah. behavior, yes, yeah, schizo- schizophrenia, thinking and speech. I for I for just a moment when he started talking, I thought he was just pulling that out of note, like he was re- uh, he, he, he was reading that. Enrique, for, bring us Enrique back. Just, just <laughs> knocked, it, knocked me. And I was like, well, this he, isn't our Enrique. He's bring got, him back. He's got his phone Get it right. Oh, yeah. But yeah, schizophrenia his phone is schizotypical. His well, it, it, Look who's talking. Look helps. who's talking to. If, I, if I'm going to say something, <laughs> I've got to use it. Like, but either way, no, schizotypical and all that. We're, we're, we're delving off into mental health, which I would point out, this would have been a great topic to bring up with perhaps a nurse who's a mental health nurse that you have on the show chronically. But yet, I'm sure y'all talked about biscuits or something. <laughs> Um, I don't even remember. Yeah, I know you didn't. You like so that was not you. You don't remember. That's right. Split personalities. Split, split personalities. That's right. Yeah, she did say she was hearing voices telling her to kill her mother. You would. Oh. I, I like how I any I, so much of my stuff you cut from this from this podcast, but yet you went so hard on something very dark at a random time. Well, it just came up naturally in our to- topic of conversation. No, it didn't. Well, that was shit. Well, well technically, I'm, I'm the one who kind of- We're talking like, about consciousness. You're like, I saw on TV, somebody killed their family. <laughs> I was like, hey, <laughs> Sling Blade. It has nothing to do with the theory of consciousness that we're talking about. It's with even our- weirder that well, I somehow started this conversation. I like that you did. So there's, you did? Yeah, there's a-, there's a the, uh, I don't remember a sci-fi. I know because it just wasn't me. Must have been somebody else. It wasn't sci-fi. Me. That's what that song's based on. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. Could I the guy I sleeping with everybody. Yeah, he's like, it wasn't me. Peter Watts. Maybe that's the wrong Arthur, but he did Peter a wins a uh, sci-fi book called Blind Sight. Oh, that was a good movie about that football guy. No, 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 no. it's Blind Side. Blind Side, of course, like I said, was a sci-fi book. Ooh. Interested? Go on. I, well, don't interrupt me. Remember what you said? You can't even see. That's right. I was so play, no, that. no. Just close your oh, mouth. Oh, that's right. No, just close. <laughs> yeah, I had to say. Blind Sight was about this, uh, like a first contact book, but it dealt with consciousness. And the, basically, during this book, if I remember correctly, it's very popular. It dealt with the fact that they felt like these aliens that they had encountered were superior because they lacked the ego. They lack self-awareness. It's kind of like you think of like the Borg. They're all a collective, and thus they're super efficient. And in this book, it it dealt with um, that basically they felt like humans were an offshoot, like it was a malformation that we were aware. And that was the idea behind a lot of it. If I remember the the idea, the theme of it was consciousness was holding us back. That really, if we were less conscious of our own self and our own awareness. Things would be better. It was interesting. It's fascinating. This book's been studied for a long time because the writing apparently was pretty decent. I, I didn't really like it as much as I thought it would. But anyways, that whole idea of people not being self-aware, not having an ego, like uh, was, it, was it Freud that did the id, not the id, the ego and the... Uh, yes. Yeah, I, I was thinking correctly. But yeah, so it's like being conscious of yourself and self-aware and then how that can affect your everyday life because you, you people are selfish Intentionally, like you just, I mean, I, uh, you know, <laughs> okay, I don't know how that. So, like, you know, you have people that like super think all the time and they're usually depressed. I wouldn't say that. No. I don't think so. No, no, it, it's just it, the, the, the depression is an entirely different thing. But, like, you think of like all these famous artists, comics, actors, uh, musicians, and they're just so smart. But they're always usually kind of depressed, I feel like. But yet you see people not quite as intelligent. They seem happier. I mean, is that just like a super generalization statement to make? I would say that is pretty generalized. But like you're thinking yeah. of like the tortured artist, like, you know, Van Gogh. I mean, yeah. Cutting his ear off type thing. That that time. Well, there was outward issues, though. People weren't respecting their genius. That would drive you mad. And I'd point out that you're putting, again, the cart before the horse. Is that maybe it's all you ignorant people that's driving also all intelligent people insane. 
See? And you're looking at me while you say that. I did. I attacked you there. See? Huh? Huh? Man, I did not interrupt, interrupt you. I'm, I, that's what I like I about you. you. That's me. what I like about you there, Smiley Bob. But but speaking, I get your point. I get your point. But speaking of how... Okay, so... Well, the reason I was thinking of that are people that like go into comas or get concussions, etc. Okay. It can affect who you think you are or where you come from. In this manner. Let me just read this real quick before you respond. Foreign accent syndrome. Now, you've read this before. We've done this. Did I really? Twice. Did I really? We've done this twice. Are you sure? I guarantee we I don't remember. Was but, it me? But yes, yes, you've done this again. But go ahead. Read it so, because it is interesting. But George... So, for, it's a phenomenon that happens when someone recovers from a brain injury with a different accent or manner of speaking from the one they've always had. And it goes on to talk about George Michael, frontman of the 80s band Wham. He went into a coma from a life-threatening case of pneumonia. Basically woke up with a different accent, a different English accent. Says he had a West Country accent, even though he hails from North London. West Country accents in the UK are associated with farmers and pirates, unlike George Michael's typically posh London accent. Pirates? So, and I may, I probably said this again as well. I knew a guy this happened to. Right. And he was from, I don't know, Arkansas, somewhere around there, and had like an English accent. Yes, and I laughed uncontrollably really? about that. I, yes. Where do I, well, I wonder what episode that was. That was way back. But anyway, so but I'm it just bears saying, repeating because I'm so, still cracking up thinking about it. And But I've heard of people, uh, a friend of mine, his dad fell off a lawnmower, busted his head, and <laughs> he said he was different after that. You did. So the physical structure of your brain affects your consciousness and the way you act or speak, or does it just affect those motor skills that trigger those things? Well, Did no, you watch no. the, the Harrison Ford show? Regarding Henry? Yeah, I got shot in the head. Yeah? That's maybe you should try. Well, it, it could, <laughs> it could take a hit head injury and you might, I don't know. Or like well, amnesia. Bam. You know, forget well, everything. Well, it, That'd be awesome. Well, if, seeing that what? whatever has been replaced, your normal speech pattern, your accent, and it's been replaced with something else, it... Something else from where? Your subconscious? Yeah. yeah because you if they have listened listened to other people talk or yeah. through movies, conversation, it's ill there. your brain rewires itself from something it Well, hurts. it's not rewiring, it's just replacing whatever it lost. Sound like one of those twenty movies. Whatever lost memory. I would love to wake up. Listen here, the- see <laughs> I'm gonna stand for this, toss it down. <laughs> so, yeah, it's so it's just it's just That's basically <laughs> It's just reco- replacing whatever. Well, I wish been I lost. would like knock me in the head and wake up. How would I want to talk? I really like to have a Scottish accent, but I can't do it. Australian, I can kind of already do that one pretty right. easy. No, yeah, you got that one. I've got that one. I've got that one down. Yep. Uh, I like the Irish brogue, the Scottish brogue. Richard Simpson. I'd love to sound like him. Not Dan Hughes. Yorkshireian accent. <laughs> Yorkshireian. No. That sounds. <laughs> Yorkshireian? I don't think that's a, is that a that's phrase, how, I Yorkshireian? I think so. Without a Yorkish? doubt. Yorkish? It sounds like a bunch of Ed Sheerans. <laughs> <laughs> so when you said that, all I just, it just that's what popped in my head. So interesting. Interesting. Interesting subject that three people that, oh, okay, I'll give Jerry a little more leeway since he's in that field, medical at least. Well, Hi. like I understand your idea about consciousness, but you're you're going on the route of like, well, when people have strokes, their personality changes and things of that nature. I mean, even as you get, but off, your personality is you. I know, but what is you though? Like oh, even your that's like, what we're talking about. But your personality has changed as you've gotten older. What are you? Because you used not to be so, an emotional mess. So that changes from life experience, right? So which is just and stuff you go through from your brain. It's just fat. No, but well, no, because that's changing. Evolving naturally, it's a slow process. Whereas knocking yourself in the head and some suddenly you act in a different way. Where did the why? Where did that experience come from? Okay. Well, first off, it, it's all about neuroplasticity. So your brain, you're able to make as you're you're young till you're at 25, you have neuroplasticity, and it sounds just like what it means. Your neuro, your brain, plastic things harden. So your brain is able to form different pathways. 
So that's why they do listening therapy. Occupational therapists do listening therapy with kids. Like they put on headphones and play classical music and certain uh, headphones that have bone condensers in them. Like it stimulates that. They're trying to stretch their brains to be bigger. ASMR, basically. It lets their brain make make different pathways as they're doing something. Binary. And so the thing is, is with that, like you're making pathways, of course, as you're growing older. But getting hit in the head, of course, is a traumatic thing. Who's to say that most of your personality isn't formed by slow traumatic experiences? That's it's just happening slowly. It's it's a form of PTSD or or any other type of development. It's just the same thing over and over and over and over, and your brain rewires itself over a gradual time. Like I said, you didn't used to be a complete emotional mess. True. You didn't break down crying every time you watch some sappy movie. You used True. to be very logical, very calm. Yes. What happened? Life. Life. There right. you go. Small traumatic increments of things that change person one way or the other. It's basically like chimping down a brick house. Does everyone get emotionally wrecked as they get older? No, no. Just those that don't address their emotions. Hello, emotions. There you go. Sadly, it's not that easy. Like Enrique has no emotions. Spot. I have emotions. I just Vulcan. I don't show them because it's unnecessary. Most times, exactly. So what? That's what. See, that's see. Enrique is depressed because he has to deal with you. What He's, emotions do you have that you don't show? Uh, every time he dies in Elden Ring. Yeah, he's like ah. that's one of them. <laughs> that's the only reference I could pull out. Ah, ah, oh! I don't. I don't. Only, I don't I, what emotions no, 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 I've ever no, no, experienced. No, no. I, I, think, I think the only emotion ah. I don't really show is just anger. I've said this before. I've never seen him. Well, I never have. Which. I I have nothing but anger. Right. Well, and uh, okay, I'm not saying emotions you don't show. I'm talking about emotions you feel. Like, have you watched a movie that has touched you so deeply? Like, do you feel that you're sentimental? Do you get sad? Do you cry? Do you feel joy? Do you generally feel a general sense of contentment with your life? How do you feel? Mm, Never really just like, well, hold up. so you he, never he, thought about on. it. Go, what you're fixing could to say. be so intelligent that he's just depressed being around us. We and, should have him tested. <laughs> I've said that for years. <laughs> like, I'll do a test. I, like, I'm sure you on that Facebook. What kind of Power Ranger am I? <laughs> I'm the pink one. Uh, bring up BuzzFeed. My, oh, no, please don't. Oh, God. But, yeah, I mean, that whole idea so, of. Yeah, go ahead, Enrique. Go ahead. No, no, no. It, like, I, I don't have anything to add right now. <laughs> okay. I, 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 well, you started talking. I thought well, well, we're about I, to get some I, real insight. I, I was going to see what you okay, said. Okay. Well, I, I'm just saying is that everybody has their own level of, I guess, maturity when it comes with their emotions and how they handle things and feeling and expressing the emotions. And I think that people who are – and I – that book years ago about emotional intelligence that's kind of been debunked. I think it's been debunked. Some people still buy into emotional intelligence. Uh, that it's like the awareness of knowing your feelings and what's making you angry and all that. I think that there is something to be said about that. Well, like, hey, like, I think it's not really just because wh- what is that like per se emotional intelligence? Well, so it's like you know what's making you anxious or okay. you know what's making you upset or you know why you're feeling a certain way. Okay. Like you, you can almost understand to some level – if something's going on with you emotionally, what what it is, how to fix it, what to address, or, or now is or, this so, is this applying to to yourself or applying everybody, to everybody yourself and others? Uh, Some, like if if I was let's say I was emotionally intelligent. intelligent and I was able to tell what was making you angry, anxious, sad, whatever. Right? Yeah, you'd have a high level of emotional now that I kind of slightly believe. Okay, for for. Being able to tell if someone's he's, angry he's a or, believer. or anxious and all that because it'll be just within body language and just um, how they act during the day. Like they may be just – they do something different or they seem a little bit more agitated. But now if it was to being applied to yourself, I don't think anyone has any emotional right, intelligence it's, it's, to oneself. It's be- much harder oh, yeah. to consider yourself. You're like, why am I so angry right now? Yeah, it's just it. Like yesterday, I was just working. I got, I was off work. I literally got off work. I was done working. And I was sitting there doing dishes. And then I just like was super irritated all of a sudden. N- nothing triggered it. I just 
Not that I know of, unless I just ran across a random thought in my brain that irritated me and I just wasn't conscious of it. So that would be a lack of emotional intelligence or just not being aware. Also, so is there a sudden, th- so th- then you would be talking about having the intelligence. Okay. What about emotions? Is there such a thing as emotional maturity where you're, okay, I may feel this way, but I need to know how to react to this. Mm-hmm. Is that the same thing as the intelligence? Well, like, yeah, you may know it, what's bothering you, but you may not control your anger. Oh, well, yeah, it'd be, yeah. Because, I mean, that would apply. Because I think Jerry kind of stepped into this, or it may have been something different on how uh, you'll program a certain uh, reaction if it was. Uh, uh, Give me a moment. It's, okay. it's being able, yeah, you, you're understanding what's making you angry, but also being able to control yourself. Being able to control yourself. Being able to control your emotions. Right. Not going, getting angry, not giving in to the sadness. And I, I, I use control carefully because sometimes, I mean, the purpose of an emotion is not to control it, it's to feel it. I mean, that is just as detrimental if you're thinking of something as controlling. you suppress that. Right. Yeah. Mainly, you don't want to just kind of hold it back. You just want to let it flow. Well, I was just thinking that. It's like, so why is it we, I mean, I guess some are negative, some are positive. So it's like, we're always told to control our anger, control this, control that. But we're never told to control our happiness. Just let it go. Because that's what we all strive for. Well, when you don't Nobody's ever said control your happiness. Exactly. That's what I said. Yeah. What? what, I don't. But it's an emotion. Right. Yeah, but, but we got to control all emotions, but happiness. Think about that. I, I that is uh, <laughs> no, that just thought is so asinine. I don't, don't think it's I, right. I, I can't. I, wait, so, so I, literally, I, okay. everyone in the world, almost said universe, because I believe in aliens, but I want to break it down to just the world. You've been harassing me about Bigfoot, <laughs> and now you bring this up. Okay, go ahead. Well, I, I didn't say I didn't believe in aliens. I said I don't believe in Bigfoot. I know, so, I know. The point of consciousness is to suppress all emotions. Not to suppress, but to control, acknowledge, react in a proper way to all emotions, but happiness. That's that's the key to life right there. I just figured it out. That no, it's no. not anything I, to do with consciousness. I, that has not yeah. Con- I didn't say it was consciousness. So you did I? Did, yeah, you yeah. Oh, okay, maybe I just. So your whole thing is the point of life is, 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 is to control all your emotions. To control all your emotions except for happiness. Well, how do you control an emotion? Good question. Like you can't control an emotion to to a degree. Well, not con- well, not, not control well, it. React to it. Control your reaction to your emotions, which is not healthy. Yeah, which is not. Which is well, what- if you. I mean, if you're super angry, you don't just holler and scream at somebody. So you, the physical reaction. I think it's interesting that he's mm-hmm. answered his own question from previously. Yeah. Okay. Well, like for me, like you don't really control any emotions. You kind of just direct the the emotions. Okay. So, for instance, and I think this is interesting. This is where you just said you can't be self aware, and then you turned around and said, "I'm angry for no reason," and then you go on this rant about you should just be able to control your emotions. The reason you feel angry with no apparent reason is because you have suppressed that emotion previously. Suppressed it from earlier? Yes, from something else. And now you are feeling it. You feel mm-hmm. emotions. They're, so it could well up in yeah. you and you don't know where it comes from. Right. Do you think Because people, you experienced it earlier. Yeah, you think people who freak out because they got pulled off, you know, somebody cut them off in traffic. <laughs> That's not because they got cut off in traffic. That's because their ex-wife is making them taking them back to court for yeah. alimony or something like yeah. that. It's 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 it's, it's like saying yeah. if I was to slap Jerry right now and he do it, do it. Let's prove it. Let's prove it in action. Slap slap champion. No, we need to control. No, no, no. <laughs> that but is a weird sport. It is a weird I sport. I love it. <laughs> so Wait a minute. Which one? <laughs> the the one Russian. Where they, where they line up across from each other after as if they're going to arm wrestle over the top style. Ah, where okay. they just slap the not the ones where they're slapping cheeks. No. Oh. <laughs> What? Enrique's dying laughing because I'm sorry. We were having this conversation earlier. Are you talking <laughs> slapping? <laughs> but yes, yes. It's a it, 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 Enrique and I were discussing stupidity and things in sports. And anyway, we we brought that well, up. They slap the posterior of another player. Yes, it's hilarious. Uh, yeah. Enrique said that's not a thing. It's like yes, it is. It yeah. can't be a thing. Yeah. I won't believe. Let's do it. I'm, is that BGG Con? Oh God. Ryan it's Maxwell like, wins game, every guys. year. Good game, guys. You break your hand. And I was I was always told this because there's no pads on the buttocks, and so you can feel it. 
Like if you pat them on the back, there's nothing but pads. They don't know you're giving them a affirming, positive pat on the shoulder. Talk about they football? Feel like in football. They always slap them on the butt, you know? I did not oh, know that. Well, what are y'all talking about? So we're, we're talking about sports. <laughs> yeah, we're Continue Y'all on. just talking about slapping random buttocks? <laughs> Continue on. You're killing me. Continue on. What were you saying now before you got sidetracked about emotions and feeling them? <laughs> slapping me. I don't know. I got distracted. I know. It's exactly. So you said the thing. I can't person. focus. Right. I need focus medicine. That's not hard to focus. Well, I, I don't think it's just focus. I feel like he just has maybe some damage to his Short mem- short-term it, it, memory. Agabi certainly has damage to his short-term memory. You'll say something and he will not... Rec- yeah, there's no connection between what was just said. I bet you you had like some mini stroke during your life and you just haven't noticed. I'm no doctor. You, nah, I wouldn't say you had a mini stroke. I'm just saying you probably don't utilize your short-term memory that often so you're not attuned. Anymore. To Anymore is probably the case. I used to remember stuff. Now I don't. Which is weird. Can we just like kind of take him to a doctor one day and just kind of get that checked out for him? Uh, I, I, I'd have to run all sorts of brain neurological we'll testing put, or something. We'll put you under. We'll put, put you under. The water? Put you down. Put no. You down. <laughs> Aquaman. I've had enough of that. Uh, buoyancy. I'm actually kind of interested in why you can't remember things now. I may have to just. It has to do with just uh, like your hearing. Like a lot of people. Hearing. Hearing, yeah. You can't hear frequently. Like the fish? Yeah. Red? The red hair? Red herring? Herring. You yeah. lead me down the wrong path on purpose? Yeah, yeah red herring. Uh, but yeah, I mean, if you're not paying attention and you're not processing what people say, it's a processing disorder. You're not just yeah, contemplating yeah. what other people are saying. I didn't used to be like that. Well, at some point you stop caring so it's a, about what other people say, which is probably why you interrupt so absolutely everybody that you know. That's not true. Yes, it is. No. You, I, I, I just every said, time I, just I come like on the por- podcast, no, I just the always, what? The what? on the podcast. I just sat in there and listened to a conversation with your wife. Yes, yes. Uh, you should hear you and your wife. Me, and my wife. No. Oh, I guess y'all are fantastic. Well, perfect. And then you get defensive Flawless. immediately. <laughs> See? Uh, Why are y'all attacking me? We're not, we're not attacking, attacking you. you. We're helping you. We're trying to <laughs> get him in free case. Why am I on the couch all of a sudden? Okay. <laughs> Put your feet up. Hold up. I'm going to turn r- turn the chair around. Electroshock no. therapy. No, that's okay. Gobby mental no, session. No, we've had enough of these. No, we're not. The, no, we're the not. Fam- the- we don't have no podcasting juice this episode. What are you talking about? Whiskey. You don't need whiskey to have a good time. And besides, that's a I've crutch. Been, I've been, I've been, and besides, we're I've talking about having, ed- educational things. I've been having a good time. You have until been. Until this moment. What do you mean up to when this moment? you're both staring at me. I'm not staring at you. I'm looking at Enrique. Well, yeah, I'm staring at you. turned his hey, chair. Let's do this. Yeah. We got off of you all of a sudden when I said, <laughs> have, what is, like, do you feel content in your life? And you're like, well, I've never, th- hmm, let me think about that for a moment. And then that was the end of it. That was a great deflection. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it. That was class A. And Enrique, and he, I don't, I, turning, I don't think he has contemplated his his feelings, contentment in life, or his anything. Con, his contentment. Well, I probably haven't. Like, just like my place in this universe. No, I haven't thought anything about it. Just kind of. Just at what point do you think you will? <sighs> probably okay, see, once I, I get, get on my deathbed, this. perhaps deathbed. I won't well, worry it's about it. Too late then. Well, like then you're just full of nothing but regrets. Regrets. You will always have this. regrets. I should have done that. I don't think he's going to have any regrets. You will always have regrets in this life. It's just how life is, sadly. But all those regrets made you who you are today. Yeah, you should have changed some things. <laughs> <laughs> Could have been better, boys. Um, regrets. Who needs them? Well, you don't have any so far, right? Well, I have some regrets, yeah. Well, go on. Well, I'm not going to talk about them oh, right now. Why not? Like, that mustache. No, no, you don't have to look. You ain't got to be nowhere. Well, I, I, I need to be making sure that this <laughs> ends on time so I can get home and get what? to bed. For what? Wow. For he's, work. He's being. For work. He's being very, very. Do you regret working for your father? No. Why not? I, I like, like, okay. For working on your own, having your own business. Gives you so much free time, mm-hmm. and it allows you Must to make nice. your own ta- timetables, all that. And mm-hmm. It's just—it's fantastic. It's—it's it's really good. But of course, y'all hiring? 
Hiring? No. Yeah. Sad. Uh, you would have to talk to my father about that. I need a job. You, but you have a job. But I'm not working for myself and I have free time. Okay, but it, you it's work also from home in your I'm underwear. I'm constrained to the man, though. I can't leave my room. You'd be constrained to another man. No, he's here to say you work for yourself. You you're not your working time. for you're yourself. Work- you're working for Mag. Yeah, you're working That's for not, my father. Yeah, yeah, but he would give me more free time. No, he would not. No, no. Mag it, works all the time. It's just the, the. So what's this free time you're talking about? Okay, and, and so, Rick, it just doesn't get up for work sometimes. <laughs> no, no. It, how my the little business works is that only during certain times it, it the 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 work are hours are inconsistent let's say that and it mm-hmm. gives gives free time or it could be a long month it's just very it just constantly change changes it's variable yeah a variety of times yes instead, instead of, of a just- Nine, Friday, nine to eight five, five job. Nine to five. That's somebody that's never had a job. Like I, I eight to five. Get an hour lunch because I could get up at seven and then perhaps maybe get off at like four or five. Perhaps mm, that's a long day. Yeah, and that can happen. And then you're too. off the next three days. Yeah, it must be nice. You work from home in your underwear. I got to be on the clock though Monday through Friday eight to five. Can't yeah, go nowhere. But, Can't do nothing. I got to be in there on the phone. But you used to do that for more hours everywhere, and you didn't go anywhere. You drove in a truck. But I had more flexibility. Like, but, when we wanted to have a game day, I just said, hey, I'm taking off. Can't do that now. <laughs> You're what more you responsible? Yes. Sucks. You know what? You know what? That's what ruins people. Responsibility. No, responsibility no, is a great thing. No. What do you mean, no? Yes. That's no. the whole purpose of life. Is that's when I was, you know, when I was happy, I had no responsibilities. That's when you're selfish. That's yeah. when I was happy. Selfish. 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 Yes. Responsibility is selfish. So, Mr. Music Man 69 Oh. And he spelled on. Music Man with two N's, like Michael Mann. Okay. Which I like. I like Michael Mann a lot. I don't think you understand how much I like Michael Mann. Uh, you keep saying it, okay. and I believe you. Okay. He says, I work from home as a senior commercial claim insurance adjuster for over a decade. A senior Godspeed. commercial claim insurance adjuster. That is a mouthful. He's the a senior. Lot. He's been there a while. Okay. First senior. off, let's see. First off, thank you for a breakdown of my username. The story to that name is much simpler. When AOL Messenger was a thing, I liked the name Music Man. However, you have to take the random generated number after the name 69,000. Being an adolescent at the time, it seemed so fine. So then I tried to play it off as something neat, but you can't get past the 69. I fall in the same boat because my email, my private email, which I will not give out on this podcast, is the same thing. It was an AOL thing, and I used a name, a thing I wanted, and then it generated a bunch of numbers. And it's been, I've had the same email forever. Gotcha. So it's, uh, I'm in there, Michael. Uh, the better question is, why haven't I changed my name after all the new platforms? I like consistency. Same here. I've got the same phone number, same email. Me too. I have changed some to drop to 69, but my YouTube account didn't make the cut. It's the same reason when you go to a doctor's office or classroom, you tend to sit in the same seat as the previous day with unassigned seats. That's true. I do that. I, I like same consistent. Yes. Even in our board game room. Even We're creatures my- of habit. Correct. So, working from home. He digresses. Yes, we shower and brush teeth, but maybe not till 12, though. So he didn't brush his teeth till noon. I can understand that. He's a brush your teeth after coffee kind of guy. Makes sense, because you brush your teeth before coffee, and you're just messing it all up again. Do you brush your teeth after every time you eat? No, after coffee. Just coffee. Coffee breath is rough. So, wait. So you Hold on. You were nose breathing quite heavily, so I oh, had to turn it down. Go ahead. So you drink your coffee, brush your teeth, and then eat? No, no. I don't eat breakfast. I, I don't, don't eat till oh, like... You don't I don't eat breakfast either. Breakfast is a lie. Brought on by a big breakfast. Ego. <laughs> and the egg. Like egg! I, like I, I, I put rather, the egg in ego. I'd rather wait big until breakfast. noon or a little bit afternoon and then eat. I don't drink coffee anymore. I drink my mushroom concoction as well as I intermittent fast till 2 p.m. Anyways. You don't want to trigger your insulin that many times throughout the day. It's bad for you. We do not give out medical advice nor legal advice here in the board game. No, Stops. we don't. But We're do send us for any damages. What I've heard on the internet. Do send us emails at boardgamestops at gmail.com. 
I take phone calls regularly and email just as mentions. My role carries a lot of weight within the industry, but there's always time for TikTok. Watch it played with Rodney Smith and podcasts. So he'll, he watches Rodney. I'm worried about the TikTok because him being an insurance adjuster thing for 10 years in AOL makes me think that he's at least our age. So thus, him liking TikTok. I know you like TikTok, but I think I, I'm anti-TikTok. I, I cannot tell you that's what's ruining your memory. Oh, I, oh 100%. Like everybody should delete TikTok. The fact that it's still in your data. They're blasting those rays in there and zapping your brain. Well, no. It's just the, 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 the you cannot learn anything from TikTok. It's too, I've learned a lot. From you've learned nothing. It, that girl a, with the personalities learned that on TikTok. No, it's it's, it's too an short. overdose of uh, what was it? Uh, Testosterone, dopamine. No. It, it don't, That's where you dopamine. just want to say a word to be a part of the conversation. You just say words. I like to be part of the conversation. Well, you yeah, are but, if you would respond to what we're saying. The fact is, is that it's training you to have like a fifteen second attention, attention span. span. Yeah. So yeah, I, I knew that just before you did. It's stupid. I like it. Besides that. Anyways, I digress. Note, I cannot tell you how many times I've tried to learn Feast for Elden while working. Yeah. Watch it. It's a great to work from home, but without social network or change in scenery, you can become separated from life and just work, be a work machine. Lastly, yeah, we see, snack way too much. Become vitamin D deficient. You can. My problem with working from home is Monday through Friday is like just, just, just this one gelatinous, monotonous ball of eat, sleep, work, eat, sleep, work. I need to like break it up somehow. Like get out of the house. Don't you have a lunch break? I should leave the house. Yeah. Why don't you leave the house? I don't have a car. I sold it. I know, which I thought was ignorant when you did it. You just didn't don't ask. Need it. You didn't ask me either. I don't need you. it. But you could have needed it. Now you need it. No. Uh, to Wait, just what? get out of the house. Wait, why did he, he sold his truck? Car? Why? Because he he doesn't think. Because I don't need it. He says I don't need it. I have bills to pay. It. Okay. When you need money, you sell things to pay bills. Well, like and support things. Then you pay off your real. Your but you need your truck for your side hustle. Yeah. If I had one, that's mm. why you don't have one. Because you don't have your truck. Could have side hustled. By the time I'm working, done working, I don't want no side hustle. Well, that's why you don't have any money because you don't side hustle. Ricky, Ricky's over there side hustling all the time. He's got one hustle. But he side hustles, too. His one hustle is his side hustle. He, no, he side hustles, too. Trust me. He's side hustling. Look, you get out and walk. Just walk your butt around here. It's a thousand degrees outside. There's Good. your exercise. 15 minutes out there in the a sun. A thousand degrees do in the sun. Do you even see the sun? You can walk do it. down that, that end of the street. What do you think these people who end. are digging ditches and DOT stuff? I know. They're good. They're they're They're... Um, God bless them. No, just stand out there 15 minutes, get your D- vitamin D. That's like the first thing I you do. Sh- I go sit outside. And walk. I sit in the backyard. And walk. All right, go, can, go ahead and pin it. He says the same thing. Yeah. Vitamin D, thank you for your constant humor. If you're wearing penny loafers, you should reevaluate your trash choices. Oh, lastly, you all are the reason I bought Royals and it's been a hit since I bought it. Thanks, Rob. Royals is a good game. You're welcome, Rob. Lindsay uh, sent us a hilarious audio clip that sounds... Slowed down, which I'm not going to play. Yeah. On. That was hilarious. She thought we were drinking too much, but in fact, she was just listening to the audio slowed down unknowingly. Which you should probably <laughs> just listen to all of our podcasts. That, you know, uh, but then right. I sped it up uh, during the last uh, podcast a few weeks ago, and Tyler from Chicago thought we should do a whole podcast with it sped up. You know with what? With the chipmunk voices. Oh, God. I said, no. 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 no I'll no, do no, it. No, 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 no. And I, again, I want to say, I got sidetracked a few weeks ago. Or, I want to say thanks to everybody in our Discord. I've got my Discord back. Those guys have been tearing it up. Yeah. They keep I, the convo going on a variety of subjects. And it's wonderful. Yeah, I just got my Discord back. I recovered be. my password. Thank you, Discord, for believing in me. There's, I, I don't remember all the names, but I, I will be summer. on Discord soon. Yeah, what? Maxwell? Went to Discord soon. Doran? Server? Duran Duran. Not that again. Will you get on Discord and do something? He's on there. Well, no, I don't talk as much. You should. I don't talk. People is, demand it. The people do demand it. And, I, I, and I've been neglecting. Ne- you have been neglecting. neglecting. You're fair. I've been neglecting my Jeff own Frist? server. Your own server. Dave Allen? Those guys just, they just chat up. Jeff with a G? Yeah. Is that Patterson? Invincible Luke? All the guys. But yeah, once a Discord server gets up and going, they, they can keep that thing alive forever. Predominantly male. Yeah, we need to get some females. <laughs> I'll tell you what, because you, what, 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 don't, what, come, don't a lot of this with Enrique. Yeah. Look, listen, all right. So one of the one of the people, one of the hosts of this podcast, is a misogynist and doesn't really like women. But Enrique, are you? Do you? Do you? You enjoy the company of females? Yeah. You do not objectify them. I I can honestly say I don't think I've ever heard you say one thing even mildly offensive 
that would have come to the point of objectifying a woman. I did nothing my but a gentleman. You have given your sister, which sometimes she deserves it, a hard time. Yeah, because she's, she's kind of irritating sometimes. No, I'm not that irritating. She's a little bit she, irritating. She, she can be a little bit. She's into a, she's into that magma. Magma? What's that cartoon stuff? Oh, man- manga. manga. Yeah. Manga. Ma- like what hot magma? I can't, wait, I can't blame her because I'm into anime, so I can't. I know, of course you're into anime. You got one of those pillows. And you don't talk bad about my body pillow. <laughs> your body pillow. You got a body pillow. You got some Valkyrie Chronicles. Wait, 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 what? I was. I, I made a joke one time about there's those body pillows, but they have like an anime uh, person yeah. uh, plastered on it, and they're called. They're called something. There's actually a term. And I thought this was genius because, like, all the neckbeards were, I'm sorry, neckbeards out there, but they're all buying those things. And I told Enrique, I'm going to buy you one of those. Enrique's going to put a ring on it. You're going to put a ring on his all. And people have done that. Oh, they have I'm serious. They have done that. They've married their body pillows. It's my pillow. That's disturbing. <laughs> That's disturbing. <laughs> this, uh, this is a subject okay, I really don't so, know that we want to I, I don't really want to go down here. Okay, well, I was about to show you. I'll just have to edit it all I, out. I, I'm it's about okay. to show you a picture. <laughs> Y'all don't need That's very disturbing. I'm not going to look at that picture. I'm not going to look at that picture. That's a, that's a, that's the Pokemon. That's a, that's a Lucano or. What's his that's name? Disturbing. What's the, what's the, what's the, what's the Pokemon? I don't need a sexy Pokemon. It's, that Pokemon is not sexy. The fact that you think it's sexy is what's, we need to, you need to have Dan on here talk about your problems. Sexy Pokemon. It's I laying think, provocatively. It's, it's not laying provocatively. disturbing too. Huh? I, 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 yeah. I know the world's very strange. Yeah. Why do you not have a pillow that have Snorlax on it? Now that's wait, what you want. Actually, you know what? I bet you, you, you like, get something like you that. You can't look like Snorlax. Wait, is that a Dr. Seuss thing? No, no it's a Pokemon. Oh. You're thinking of a... Ps- Lorax? Borax? That's a cleaner. That's the, the who are the Darlax? Darlax. <laughs> Darlax. 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 Mm-hmm. That was that joke didn't happen. I know it didn't happen. I'm trying to be funny. Okay? Sarlax. Yeah, okay. Well, anyways, enough of this. Did we talk about a game? No. Nope. We got. Oh no. Yeah, we did not talk about one game. The game of life. We discussed about our brains. <laughs> we got into another mental conversation. We had good intentions, but we didn't do it. But that's okay because we got to go because you got to get to work eventually. Yeah. yeah uh, we don't have time to discuss a game. But so this is we got several episodes coming out that are super exciting. I think after this one. Yeah. This is our last recording. Is, I know, but moment. the next few will be exciting. <laughs> okay. I'm pretty sure. We do have. I, I took a picture the other day of, we have several games, Icky. Icky? Uh, some older ones, Papua. I just bought Distilled, where we make our own whiskey and spirits. Uh, I've got vinyl. We've got several games to play. Next time we actually have, we're recording this a day after work. We need to have a day where we have a day to play. We've got so much that we can do. Hotness. No, we, we need do to do it. another top 25. Oh, yeah. yeah. We're way behind on that. We're way behind on our, uh, uh, yeah, we got to do the best of the year. <laughs> we're not gonna do that. There we are. We're gonna do we it. haven't played enough games. Oh, but we stretch back to COVID. Like just the best <laughs> of the back. last few while. We got all types of stuff we could do. We got we got so much content. Tell me about this content. I got content everywhere. Well, here's the thing. Content. We don't even need like pre-planned content because literally we just got on here and just started talking. That's our problem. This was fire. And you wanted previously you said you wanted format and segments. I did. This was one of my segments. <laughs> This is a segment I had, and it was just so good. The whole show long? The show went good. Here's the thing. I can't help it that when I segment something, it's so enrapturing. I love how you always give yourself all the credit for everything. I don't give myself all the credit. You, you give yourself you all the credit. You edit some of this. You give all you the credit. You edit this. Yourself. You're here. I couldn't do this without you. Uh, and, I, and I have my moments. Enrique has just, moments. You do have moments. Yeah. But I couldn't do this without you. I mean, I could. I could get a soundboard that just sounds like you and just have it interrupt me every once in a while and you know, stuff you like know. that. But that would not edit the podcast. I need a better chair. My coccyx is hurting. You like my chair that I got you? Yeah, that's nice. It's a nice chair. You know how hard it is well, to find a chair? We don't have to get my own chair. Huh? You, you ain't been in my house. I got him a chair. Because I want a special chair. Jack fights me for it every time I yeah, go Jack over there. Jack likes that chair. Yeah, I know. Because I, I think he, he fought over it when we were over there. That punk. That yeah. one time. My coccyx is really hurting. That's not your coccyx. What is it? That's your... Glute- my bone. That's your gluteal cliff. <laughs> what, what's the bone in the gluteal cliff? That's your sacral Also area. known as the tailbone. Yeah, maybe. you got your... You're talking about your spine? You got your... Uh, my gluteal Lee Van Cliff. He was a guy that was in the good, the bad, and the ugly, mm-hmm. which is basically <laughs> that's my uh, clip. Your clip. the good, the bad, and the, the ugly. Crack. The crack. <laughs> like, he just saw like he just yelled that out. All right, he, put, he like shot his head up real quick. He did. He, he fell it. over. He was, really he was really pleased with that. You look like Cliff, <laughs> don't you? You do, don't you? Look at him. We got that mustache. You do, don't you? Uh, Hang him high. All right, I gotta get out of here. I gotta get him home. We gotta uh, stop by and please see. too. And uh, this was Jerry. And if you have this- any, if you have any topics you want discussed next month, because it's gonna be next month before we get back together, and plus it'll give us time to think about it. It'll be August. I don't know what you're doing right now. Jan- when is it? We're August, in September. August right now. September. Bro. September. Send us an email. Yeah, we'll have boardgamesnobs at gmail.com. And Enrique will answer all your questions. I will try my best. He will. Trust me. All right. I'm Gabby. It's Jim. This is Thank you for tolerating this episode of the Board Game Snobs. Stay classy. <laughs>
Dan Hughes. 